Monday was the last day of the big scheduled event at the UN General Assembly for 2024, the Summit for the Future and the Pact for the Future, which was ratified by General Assembly members on Sunday. It has five key points. They are sustainable development, peace and security, youth and the future, science and technology and transforming global governments. It is the pet project of the Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, who's been working on this for the best part of the last three years and it's designed to give the UN a bit of a boost. The focus on Monday was on the respected Chinese politician and diplomat Wang Yi, who was rather romantic when he talked about the whole situation, saying the people of the world are not riding separately in some 190 boats. We're in a giant ship, said Wang Yi, on which our shared destiny hinges. China proposes that we need to build a future of peace and tranquility. In this changing and turbulent world, new risks and challenges keep cropping up. No country can stay unaffected. Greater solidarity and cooperation of the international community is not a choice, but a must. The Monday session in the end was dominated by events in Lebanon, with the Secretary General spokesperson condemning the attack by Israel on Lebanon. Now ahead on Tuesday, another historic day, President Biden will make his final address to the UN General Assembly as President of the United States, and we hear from the new President of Iran. John Terrett, CGTN, at the United Nations in New York.